AK the Gamer Girl here, and I saw that they released a new trailer for The Last of Us Part 2. I am hyped for this game, even though a lot of people are angry that there's certain stuff that's going on. I've been avoiding leaks as much as possible in the fact that I was hyped for the first game. I really enjoy the first game. I even enjoyed the storyline for the DLC for Left Behind, and... I wanted to see what was going on because they just released this like maybe the beginning of the day and I know it's going to be a little bit hard. It's only two minutes long but I want to give my thoughts on this new trailer and everything that's going on with leaks and everything like that. So we'll start off with the trailer. I'll end with my thoughts and what's going on with everything as far as my reactions to the leaks and how I feel about everything. So we'll go from there. So <laughs> let's jump into this whirlwind of crazy. Here we go. Ah, oh, Joel. I wish things were different. Ellie! Up. I'm leaving tomorrow. To do this smart, we'd be leaving Jackson vulnerable. So they just get to get away with this? How'd you find us? You can't stop this. <laughs> I won't. We could have killed you. Maybe you should have. Yeah, you should have. <laughs> oh man. Six nineteen. Oh, that was hard. I don't like to see Ali cry. Um, I know somebody major is going to die in Ellie's life because of the revenge thing. And from what I'm gathering, it's gonna be probably the girl that she was digging in the beginning of the game, from everything that I see. And you can tell Ellie is really heartbroken about it and that she's gonna go crazy. So this trailer is still keeping me hyped for the game. I'm, I'm still liking everything I'm seeing. I still seeing some of the game mechanics, and I like the fact that they introduce a new element to the game, not just rehash old stuff. Like, they didn't just go, okay, we're just going to do the combat situation like we did before in the DLC, and I like that they didn't just go, okay, well, that worked, and let's just stick with what we know. Let's, let's not introduce anything new. I like the fact that they introduce dogs to the situation where the dog can throw the scent and everything like that. So that, that's one thing that I'm enjoying is the fact that it, it looks like it could be a new creature. I thought I saw a new creature in the, the trailer. And if they have new styles of the creature, that'd be cool. But as far as the leaks, my viewpoint and everything that's going on, I've seen a game that was a game of the decade become the most hated sequel because of the fact that they think SJW's got involved in it, and for me, I, I'm, I'm not an SJW, nor, 
but am I going to be every pro everything and, you know, like want them <laughs> on the other side to be, you know, influencing the game, but you saw lost like the the last part of the DLC for I'm spoiling this if you, which I I surprised that nobody if you haven't played the DLC is rare or if you have not seen anything. I'm spoiling this on purpose because you saw them kiss. You saw her kiss Riley. And even in the comics, you saw like a little hint that she was really close to somebody. And what I can't fathom is the fact that people are mad at that little kiss. People are, are angry about the kiss between Ellie and the other girl. I, I forgot her name. But it was from the beginning. The very first game is a game that everybody was hyped for. And then the DLC comes out and everybody was like, Ugh. You are playing a game that is morally not right in so many retrospects of, of like the core of like what you're not supposed to be playing if you have a belief system where everything should be this and this and that. And then you're throwing in, well, I, I don't want to play a game that is, is somebody gay. There is a reason you fell in love with Ellie. Because of the fact that she was tender but had to fight and keep all the people that she loved alive. And then the minute you find out you're, that she's gay, you don't want to play her anymore? You don't want to play a character that you wanted to protect and coddle and keep safe and alive. And now that you found out that she's gay, because I've seen some of the comments where like, now that Ellie's gay, I don't want to play her anymore. It's like, really? To those people, why? <laughs> it's like, that's why a lot of people don't come out. Because of the fact that people start going crazy. You liked her personality. You liked her as the character that was next to Joel. She was snarky and she was funny. And she was all that she was. And yet... The minute that you throw in anything about the LGBT community, this game's gonna suck. How do you know unless you've actually played the whole game? I'm telling you right now, the first game, the very first scene when I played it way back when it was on PS3 with my friend, if I had stopped playing after that scene where it was so predictable where the car crash happens and everything goes to turmoil and she is dead, his daughter is dead, I could have stopped playing that from that moment and not enjoyed an epic game at the very end. And even the ending is questionable. Even the ending is like, what now? Because without you know, the, the LGBTQ part, the ending could have been that he let her be sacrificed, but he stopped that from happening, and in turn, did he ruin humanity itself? So then, you have to think about that, so would you hate Joel for the rest of your life because he did that? Like, I don't see myself hating Joel because he did that because he wanted to protect the person that he thought was you know his daughter like that was their their little relationship and the fact that I now know that Ellie is gay doesn't stop me from wanting to play the character and now that the female is the the lead it was bound to happen you know what I mean like the way they made the characters could have been either way but the thing is, is you could see that Joel wanted to stop fighting he wanted to just be chill and be back with his brother in the community and eventually Ellie's gonna grow up so for me I don't care what anybody says I pre-ordered the game I didn't take my pre-order out from all the stuff that happened and even the persons that had spoiled some of the game it's still going to be a sequel to Last of Us whether we like it or not. There's plenty of games that have tweaked or changed something and it didn't work. There's been games where I love the franchise, the series, and the sequels were not living up to par. But then you don't know. You have to play the game for yourself. Just because you saw some core mechanics 
and you saw a couple cutscenes and you saw like a scene that was going to affect the game morally or, or the game that was going to be completely different. You don't know how everything's going to end. Everybody's just guessing, you know, from what they're seeing, how it's going to end. We might not know, you know, like until we actually play the game. And whether or not the game is not good, it's the fact that everybody's hating because they think that trans people cannot be awesome characters to play or the fact that they hate the trans community doesn't mean that the game's going to suck. <laughs> it's, it's so annoying to me that people are in their little mindset of, I don't want to play a game that has a transgender because da 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 da. All the time, I play a character that is not me. A male character, a female character, that's not me. But I play it to see the experience. I even play little creatures that are not me. And yet, I can find the humanity and I can find the little like nuances of the game and enjoy it. There's been some games that I've played and I hated and that was major games that were everybody loved. And it's like, you don't know what you're going to love or hate until you actually play it. And everybody that uh, is, is hating on the director and hating on the people that made the game, they took a risk with Last of Us also. They didn't know if anybody was going to like the game and they made it the way they were going to make it because they liked it. You don't know what they were thinking until you see the whole game all the way through. I've had people tell me a game was horrible and I liked it. I've had people tell me a game was great and I massively hated it because of the fact that that's just not the game for me. So I am not going to let somebody who wants to spoil the game and keeps throwing leaks in for fun because they think it's hilarious that everybody who's still hyped for the game should have everything spoiled. I've stopped. I've muted everything on my Twitter. I've muted everything on my Instagram that says Last of Us 2 leaks because of the simple fact that I am still hyped for the game and I'm still going to play the game and I'm still going to enjoy the story. And even if Ellie or Joel dies in the game, I'm still going to play it. I'm going to cry and I'm going to be upset or mad or, or angry at the characters because I'm invested in those two characters. But I don't know what's going to happen. And if it, it is a flop and I hate the game, I'm still supporting two actors that I really enjoyed, Troy Baker and Ashley and to me, they deserve all the support because I know Troy Baker. I know he will not put his name on something unless he feels it's a good game. He's done many, many games and he can pick any game he wants to play. And he can say no. He's got the power to say no. If he doesn't want to do something, he thinks it's going to be a horrible storyline or it's going to be a horrible game. He'll back out. And that, to me, is another reason why <laughs> sometimes you just have to take a step back and see that if you're going to play something and be that invested in it, they might change it completely. Look at Saints Row 2. It was a vastly different game for many, many reasons. One, because Volition was lazy. We might have gotten a completely different third game if they weren't lazy. They even said that the first two games, the ending of the first game, was they were supposed to do something and the animation changed it completely. The second game could have been a completely different game. And for that, we don't know. We will never know what would have happened. But to be angry at the developers and be angry at Volition for something that was not going to happen or something that happened and they, 
that you're angry about because you you enjoy the character Julian just just let it go because it still was a great game that second game Saints Row 2 is still a great game in my opinion once I found that out I was like ugh. once I saw Agents of Mayhem I didn't I didn't like the game I was hyped for Agents of Mayhem I enjoyed Saints Row all the way through got a little irritated with Get Out of Hell that it was just a DLC that they were promoting as a real game but I still kept that one but Agents of Mayhem I was psyched for played it didn't like it at all but I gave them their pre-order in hopes that Saints Row 5 would happen to destroy the whole thing all of Naughty Dog just because you don't like the characters that they threw in there you don't know what's gonna happen next and nobody's gonna tell me that I, I don't care if I get hate for this video nobody's gonna tell me to hate a game because a transgender character is in the game because I support the transgender community I am not transgender but I do hope and pray that every day that people will stop being so narrow-minded and open their minds and no I'm not an SJW I'm just tired of seeing so much hate for the community and the fact that somebody can't play a character because they're transgender it's getting to the point where it's getting so annoying to the point where you are tired of hearing every time it comes around and it's and it's annoying it really is so I really enjoyed this trailer I am psyched for Last of Us 2 I really do hope that all the people that are trying to spoil it for the people that are still hyped for Last of Us 2 will stop <laughs> because I'm not going to read anything and I don't plan on watching any more trailers. The only thing that will be official was that and the message from the director was heartfelt and I got a lot of hate because they're mad at him but he took a risk and he went with what he thought was the best. He made the first game. He helped make the first game. And for me, I'm going to trust him and hope that everything turns out great and that the ending is an epic ending and that we get an amazing game. But until I play all the way through, I'm not going to say it's the best game in the world. Or it's going to be the best game in the world. And I'm not going to say it's going to be the worst game in the world. Because I haven't played the game. And I hope that the people that are still hyped see this and see that there's still plenty of people that are hyped to play the game. Yes, there's a select number of people on there that are angry. But with anything that is leaked, anything that comes out that they don't like... They're going to vocalize it and be angry when all they have to do is just discontinue their pre-order and not support the game. But you still have the first game if you really are that angry about the second game being that bad because I still have plenty, plenty of great memories playing the game, still a lot of memories of everything that happened. And it's still going to be the game of the decade. Whether the second one flops and is horrible or if it's great. Because there's still that story. I can still go back and play it. 
and that's just what I think. I'm just a gamer who wants to be hyped for a game and see what happens to Ellie and Joel and anybody else that has entered Ellie and Joel's life. Because I grow to like those characters and many, many other people in their world, Tommy and all the characters that they had before, like Riley and Tess. So that's my two cents. Thank you for watching the video. If you're new, please subscribe. And as always, keep on gaming, everybody. Stay safe and form your own opinion. I'll catch you next video. Bye, everybody. Linda, the gamer girl. She's here, she's playing games. Linda, the gamer girl. She's here, she's playing games too.